Getting out of here is the key to my happiness. Everyone ready? Follow my lead, if you can keep up. Just try not to do anything stupid. Hello, I'm Leanne Papp, and I'm the executive producer at Turtle Rock Studios. Right now we're working on Back for Blood, which is a first person co-op zombie shooter that takes place after a catastrophic outbreak where most people have either died or have been infected by what we're calling the devil worm. Uh, in this game, you're part of a group of veterans that we refer to as the cleaners uh, who are ready to take the fight back to the zombies, which we call the Ridden. They're buttons for punishment today. This is alpha footage that stars four of our eight cleaners. We've got Walker, Evangelo, Hoffman, and Holly. And as you watch the footage, you're gonna see that we have a lot of different kinds of ridden. We've got some base special ridden like the tall boy and the stinger. And then there are also mutated versions of them as well. But we've got something that's especially special for us that we're very much into and very excited about. And we feel that this is bringing something new to the genre. We have our ogre. He is this massive mutated ridden that rises from the ground. And in that moment, you have to decide if you're going to face off against this tanky character or run away and face him when you're better equipped. Oh, this is not good. Is it just me or are these things getting bigger? We've got the elements that you want out in a cooperative zombie shooter. So you can gather up with your three friends and you're gonna be taking out a bunch of Ridden. We're also adding some rogue light elements with our card system that's uh, actually pretty cool and we think uh, provides a different spin on it and provides even more replayability to the game. So we should definitely talk about our game director as well as our card system. You're gonna be familiar with how we start off this game. You're gonna start in a safe room with three of your friends and the game director is gonna play what we call corruption cards. You get to know what kind of challenges he's going to throw at you and your team by looking at what these cards are. They might be things like Swarm of Bruisers or Ridden on Fire. And you then get to know exactly what it is that you're going to face. So after you see those cards, you're then going to be given a hand from a deck that you've built. And you need to decide what cards you're going to play. Coordination with your team is going to be super key here, as you can do things like improving the quality of items and weapons that are found in the world. You can make it so your team can carry more Molotovs or med kits, or you can even do something cool like your team gets a burst of health when you get in capped. We're really excited to see what you and your friends do with your cards. Gotta be something around here. There you are. <laughs> Back for Blood is coming to Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, PS5, PS4, and PC. You're going to be able to play the game in the upcoming open beta on both PC and console. We're going to have more information on that soon, so stay tuned.